Hi, it's Steph. My inspiration for this blog post came from some places I've been and books I've read, as it usually tends to be. I start off a little bit about uh, how everyone can be an entrepreneur. I've got a little supporting quote there from the book Choose Yourself. Great read for uh, anybody, well really anybody running a business, but especially a home business. Some really good stuff in there. I also got an excellent definition of entrepreneurship from Danny Eine that I heard at a uh, business conference put on by Miracy um, called Lyft that I recently attended in Montreal. And I could talk for hours and hours probably sharing about uh, the different kinds of just knowledge I got from there, learned a lot about different things that I can do in my business and that I could do helping other people in their businesses. And I also got a lot of lift in my spirit. Uh, but two things I do just want to show you that I got from there that's a little bit more tangible, but really has helped me strong in my business mindset, which is something that I feel we all really need. It's not just about the skills we have, it's about how we're thinking about our business and our, and our life overall. So one is this book called The Five Minute Journal. So in it is, uh, you know, it's nothing actually too out of the ordinary, it's nothing special or shocking. It's, it's really a gratitude journal. Um, so here's the inside of it here. And the pages are, you've got one page for each day and it's just, it's just really a pre-printed thing. You can do the same thing yourself and just get a blank book and then put in here what you're grateful for. So there's a spot to do your morning entry. So as soon as you wake up in the morning, fill your head with what you're grateful for, even if it's those little things. And then what would make today great? So three things there, what would make today great? Good chance you're going to do them. I don't do them all the time, but I, I love that I'm thinking about that right in my morning. It has helped me. Um, I've been doing this steady now for just about two weeks, and, and it's helped me a lot just in directing my day and knowing what I really want to do with my time. And then there's a little spot for daily affirmation, just more or less saying, I am. I am what? I am living my life of purpose. I am doing the stuff that matters. Um, and then there's the evening, so right before you go to bed. Again, fill your head with stuff that is good for you, not your worry and not what's not working and not fill it, fill it all right when you wake up, right before you go to bed. Just makes your sleep a lot better too. But so you want to fill it with three amazing things that happened today. There, there's definitely three amazing things. It might be I had a awesome cup of coffee, which I've written myself a few times. Uh, and they couldn't be like really big amazing, like I just made $6,000 today. Um, so from any, any type of amazing, right? You just want to be focusing on what's working, on the opportunities, not on what's not working, not on what's maybe feeling a little messed up. And then uh, just a little statement of how could I have made my day even better. Um, so that was one really awesome book I got. I will definitely keep up with this. My husband does this with me and it's, we actually then, we, we write in this in the morning and at night and we talk about what we've entered, um, what we've written in there and it's just a great way, a great communication tool for us because I don't know if anybody else feels that but communication is the biggest struggle in our, in our marriage. Just, you know, you get so used to somebody and anyway, another thing here is this a really simple statement so this is a mug also got a shirt saying the same thing life is short do stuff that matters and i love this um i guess because it's a really simple statement but it was sort of the uh it was a great motto at the event and and we saw it everywhere but it really is like do the work you love um do the stuff that matters if it's not your business it's in something else. Do what matters with your family. Do what matters with your kids. Do what matters with your with your pets and do what matters in your community with people. Just do stuff that matters. I mean, could add on a whole bunch of things of what what matters and it's going to be different for all of us too. But we all have in our head what what matters for us. What is the most important thing for you?